Energy efficiency should be exciting to everyone. There's no one who's for waste. We need to preserve our resources and energy efficiency is a great way to save one of the most critical resources that we rely on. Efficiency is the largest resource, bigger than solar, bigger than wind, bigger than all the renewables combined. Energy efficiency is the cheapest, fastest way to deal with our energy needs. Um, my favorite statistic is that over the last 40 years, we have saved more energy through efficiency than we have produced through fossil fuels and nuclear power combined in this country. So it is the low-hanging fruit. 40 years ago, when ACEEE was founded, there was essentially one primary driver, and that was resource scarcity drove the need for conservation of energy. And then efficiency wasn't about climate change. Efficiency was about energy security, and it meant that we would use less oil. For the past 40 years, efficiency has been the strongest lever in being able to decouple economic growth prosperity from energy demand. According to the American Council for an Energy Efficient Economy, energy efficiency has helped reduce energy use by about 50% relative to what it would have been had 1980 patterns continued. These reductions are saving Americans. They're saving them approximately $2,500 per year. That makes a difference for our families. When I look at the flattening of consumption that's occurred in energy, I think ACEEE had a large hand in that. And at the same time that we've reduced per capita energy consumption, prices have also declined, so consumers have benefited both ways. The largest achievement for energy efficiency has been uh, energy efficiency standards for appliances. Those standards have saved more energy at super low cost than any other thing that we have done as a energy efficiency community. ACEEE is the definitive arbiter of what is energy efficient and what is not. The technical prowess of the staff, the focus on true energy efficiency means that if ACEEE says XYZ saves energy, you can be confident that it does. ACEEE has become really the go-to group on forecasting on a scenario basis. What would happen if we did this energy efficiency action? Or what have we accomplished by doing that energy efficiency action? So I think that provides something really important to the community. I think the biggest accomplishment of ACEEE is that it has provided a place where when people want to learn about this field, that's the place to go. It's a convening place. It gives us an opportunity to get together and network and share information and make connections with each other. The spreading the knowledge and getting the younger generation involved, which to me is gratifying because I feel that at least our mission will continue. The issues of climate change and carbon and greenhouse gas emission reduction are really confronting us as a society. I think ACEEE will have a critical role in helping the U.S. and increasingly internationally helping us chart the right path to carbon reduction. We all have to focus on climate in the next 10 in an incredibly serious way. And the lowest hanging fruit is efficiency and the benefits we get from that over time and the early gains you get from that are essential for us to meet climate and emissions goals. There's no other solution available to address climate change that has so many benefits and so much promise for uh, early impact. That energy efficiency can deliver about half of the reductions that are necessary in order to meet the Paris Agreement targets. And they can meet those reductions using currently available technology that is affordable. That money invested helps people live healthier, more comfortable, more productive lives. Energy efficiency is evolving, you know, as the utility grid has to evolve and adapt. Renewables are creating a really disruptive change in how utilities deliver energy. And where energy efficiency fits into that structure is really important. I think we need to expand the scope of what we're looking at at energy efficiency so that it includes controllability 
that allows you to integrate more and more and more renewables into the electric grid than you could do right now. I think one of the important things that we need to look at going forward is incorporating the health benefits of energy efficiency work and trying to quantify those and measure those and incorporate those into standard evaluations. We need to hear the voices of people that are in the low-income community. As we look at advanced building technologies and the shift to renewable energy, the first cost of shifting to those new technologies is real. How do we make that transition so that the energy burden doesn't get to be even larger of a burden? I think that ACEEE is a really good place for having a conversation about the how. I think having a diverse representation in all different aspects of the field is critical. Not only engaging community-based organizations and local folks, but also having these individuals in program implementation roles and utility roles really helps influence how we move forward messaging and how do we get to those actual energy savings that we need. One of the best reasons I could think of to become involved in the energy efficiency field is you just feel great about what you do at work every single day and you know you're making a difference in the lives of individual people who are getting higher quality appliances and homes at a lower energy bill and you're also making a difference for society and the climate as a whole. Can't imagine a more rewarding career. I would like to thank AC Tripoli for being the leader in the field of energy efficiency on a national basis. AC Tripoli has enabled all of us to offer better programs and better services to our customers through the information sharing networks that it has created.